A Story of Friendship by Holly Keller. One morning, Hedgehog found Mouse covering himself with leaves. What in the world are you doing? asked Hedgehog. I'm hiding, said Mouse, from Snake. From our friend Snake? asked Hedgehog. Yes, Mouse whispered. Fox told Skunk and Skunk told me that snakes are very dangerous to mice. That's silly gossip, said Hedgehog. You know a snake would never hurt you. Come on, we can walk together and you will be perfectly safe. Mouse hesitated. I insist, said Hedgehog. So Mouse went along. Hedgehog talked about little things, but Mouse wasn't paying attention. He was still worrying about Snake. He looked around nervously. He looked everywhere but at his feet. Oh, help! Hedgehog peered down. You should be, af you should be afraid of yourself, Mouse, not of Snake. It's not funny, Mouse yelled. I've hurt my foot and I can't get out. Are you sure? Hedgehog shouted. Yes, Mouse yelled. Stay calm, said Hedgehog. I'll get help. Just then Squirrel walked by. <gasps> Mouse has gotten it into his head to be afraid of Snake, said Hedgehog. He was so nervous that he didn't watch where he was going. He fell into a hole and hurt his foot and now he can't get out. Can you help? But Squirrel couldn't help. It will be too dark, she said and there might be spiders. No. Rabbit came along and Hedgehog told him about mouse and snake. You know how to go down holes, said Hedgehog. Rabbit looked into the hole. Hello, mouse, he yelled. It's too deep, Rabbit said to Hedgehog, and the walls are too straight. I wouldn't be able to hop out. Why don't you go, Hedgehog, asked Squirrel. Because mouse would have to get on my back and my prickles would hurt him. Hedgehog said. Mouse started to cry. Wishy washy, wishy washy, wishy washy, wishy washy. Snake. Hedgehog heard the grass move. It was Snake. What's going on? said Snake. Shh! Hedgehog whispered. Mouse fell into a deep dark hole. He hurt his foot and he can't get out. It is a secret? Snake whispered back. Not exactly. It's just that we don't know how to get him out. Squirrel is afraid to go down by herself. Rabbit wouldn't be able to hop out. And I'm too prickly. <coughs> then I'll go down, Snake said. No problem. <gasps> oh no, said Hedgehog. That's not a good idea at all. Not at all, said Squirrel. Not at all, said Rabbit. You see, Snake, Hedgehog said. Fox told Skunk and Skunk told Mouse that snakes are dangerous to mice. Mouse was trying to hide from you when he fell into the hole. But I have always been Mouse's friend, said Snake. Of course you have, said Hedgehog. So I'm going to rescue Mouse anyway, said Snake. How will you do it without scaring Mouse? asked Hedgehog. Someone get a stick, said Snake. Squirrel did it. <coughs> now tie my tail around it, said Snake. Rabbit did it. Now make sure the knot is tight. Hedgehog did it. Now watch. When Mouse saw the stick, he grabbed it. Snake began to climb the tree and slowly Mouse came up. Yay. Mouse saw Snake and gasped. <gasps> then he saw the stick still tied to Snake's tail. Snake saved you, said Hedgehog. He did, said Squirrel. He rescued you, said Rabbit, because I would never hurt you, Snake said. Mouse turned a deep shade of pink. I'm really very sorry, he said. Snake, Squirrel, Hedgehog and Rabbit helped Mouse hobble home.
they bandaged Mouse's foot and he lay down to rest. <laughs> Several mornings later, Hedgehog was taking his walk and along came Mouse. He was holding a bouquet of flowers. Where are you going, asked Hedgehog. I'm going to say thank you to Snake, said Mouse, and to give him some flowers that I picked. And Snake was so very pleased to have them. Help! A Story of Friendship by Holly Keller.